Well, folks, this is a cloudy, rainy day here in beautiful, sunny Southern California. And uh, this is uh, where we got to be if we're going to use solar energy, I decided. We can't wait for sunny days. We've got to be able to get whatever light we're getting on any kind of a conditioned day and make it run something. And there it is, folks. I think this is the answer. This is what I'm working on really hard. That's taking um, solar energy, even on cloudy days, inside a house and making something run. And uh, the best part about this little device, as far as I'm concerned, is it self-starts in the morning. It starts itself up. And a lot of these pulse motors, you got to start them by hand. And that's just a little toy there, but the principle is what I'm working on. And uh, I'm getting there. And yesterday, I got this little thing right here running on half a milliamp. I don't know if the camera even picks that up. That's just booking on a AA battery at 500 microamps. And it's a modified circuit from a robot, robot a little um, beam technology robot. And I found the circuit at uh, solarbotics.com and it uses a blinking red LED to trigger this chain of transistors and make the coil fire. And that's the key to it. And uh, this is a uh, Radio Shack blinking red LED. The part number is uh, 276 looks like uh, 0096 2760036 and it's a red blinking LED supposed to go off at about two and a half volts but there inside this LED right there is some sort of an integrated circuit that causes that to blink and you notice it isn't blinking. This thing is actually working somehow. And it's because of the circuit inside of that red blinking LED. If you take a look at this, you can see how the circuit sets up. It uses a PNP and an NPN and a complementary arrangement. And basically, the uh, red LED somehow, someway, is telling that transistor there to tell that transistor to make the current go around like this. Now, on the solar robotic circuit, they have a solar cell right here. And that's how these little uh, bug bots work. They, the sun energy comes into the solar cell, charges up a great big capacitor. circuit here tells the capacitor, let go of the energy and fire off a solenoid or a motor or something. And uh, here I've just got my little pulse motor running. And that blinking white light is what I've added to the circuit. And that's right there. And what that is, is the back EMF from that collapsing coil feeding right back into the positive rail. Now, that won't go on a double eight battery, obviously. That's the back spike. That's the back spike energy, just like off of Bedini or any of these other back spike charging circuits that's causing that white LED to flash. What I'm very, very, very curious about is what is in that LED right there. Because that's not blinking at all. That's completely dark. But somehow that circuit is functioning inside that red LED. So anyway, I just want to let people know where I'm at with this thing. And I'm getting there. This is not the circuit that I really want to get. But you know what? It works. And it works on microamps. And if I can get something to work off of solar energy on cloudy, rainy days inside a house, that's where I'm going. Thanks for watching.